the second derivative. So the second derivative with respect to t would be, um, let's see here, it would be 1 over 25, okay, that's a constant multiple, the derivative of w minus 300, excuse me, is the derivative of w with respect to t, so this is kind of what we ran into yesterday, uh, 1 over 25 times dw over dt, and dw over dt is equal to 1 over 25 w minus 300. Um, was this one, do we know if this was calculator active or inactive? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> 25 squared, huh? It's 625. <coughs> okay. So that is the second derivative. Um, let's see here. Um, we've got to determine whether our answer in part A is an underestimate or an overestimate of the amount of solid waste that the landfill contains at time one fourth. Um, so this is a positive number. What does W stand for? W is the tons of waste. is greater than or equal to 1,400. Where does that come from? Oh, at the beginning of 2010, it contained 1,400 tons of solid waste, and it increases, okay? So W is always, it's at least 1,400 or greater. So if W is 1,400 or greater, 1,400 minus 300 is going to be a positive number. This is always going to be a positive number. So when the second derivative is positive, okay, W is always greater than or equal to 1,400. Therefore, the second derivative is positive. It is always positive. That means it's concave up. So, concave up ter uh, uh, curves the, are the tangent line approximations overestimations or underestimations? They're underestimations. Yes, if you need to sketch it out, you can. Um, so, it's always positive. Therefore, uh, the curve is uh, concave up. It's standard. You can use that. Uh, therefore, the, curve, the little triangle with three dots, you can use that for therefore. Um, therefore, the curve is concave up, and the <coughs> answer is and oh, uh, underestimate, underestimate. I'm not really good to put that whole word in there, but you know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, if you need, like I said, if you need to sketch it, sketch a concave up curve. We know that it's increasing and it's concave up, so a tangent line is going to lie under the curve, so that's why it's an underestimate. Okay. All right, uh, part C, finding the particular solution, okay. So again, this one is very similar to the one that we did yesterday as far as the way you separate the variables and whatnot. This one, not quite as heavily weighted. It's only five points instead of six points, but pretty much the same, okay? So that's, yes, every single free response question is out of nine points. This, yeah, this part definitely uh, carries the most weight of these questions. No, no. On most of the questions, on most of the free response questions, most parts are worth either two or three points. And you have four parts, so that means most of them are two, one of them is going to be three. Um, but except for on these questions, the part where they ask for the particular solution is usually either five or six points. Okay, um, so again, you get one point for separating the variables right here. Um, <clears throat> oh, I left off my GW. Okay, um, antiderivative, natural log of the absolute value of W minus 300. This one doesn't have a negative in front because the variable is positive. It's equal to 1 over 25T plus C. 
You have one point for both antiderivatives, so you have to get both of them 100% correct to do that, and one point for your constant and integration. Then you've got to use the initial condition. What do they tell us? Uh, zero is 1,400, okay? So the natural log of 1,400 minus 300 is equal to zero plus C. So 1,400 minus 300 is the natural log of 1,100 is our C value. So we go back and we plug that in. You do have to solve for the W, okay? So remember, that means exponential form. And we can drop the absolute value because, again, W is always at least 1,400. So W minus 300 is always going to be positive, so we don't have to worry about the absolute value. Uh, and remember what happens here, okay? This can be expressed as... This right here, whoops, myself one. So, yes, that is multiplying because you add your exponents. So, that is 1100 e to the t over 25 plus 300 is our w of t function. Okay, ta-da. Go with number four. Well, let's look at number five. What y'all got about number five? You okay with that one? Yeah, I'll put five. You go with number five? 